Hello again, my dear students. Today we're gonna talk about lesson two, changing states of matter. So keep on watching and pay attention with me. First, can we change the state of matter? If you remember the last session, we have known that we have three states for the matter. Solid state, liquid state, and gaseous state. So, can we change the states of matter from solid to liquid or from liquid to gaseous state? Let's see. Changing states of matter. Solid state changes to liquid state. Could you ask it yourself before why if you get out the ice cream from the freezer and you left it for some time, it turns to liquid? Or why the cube of ice if you take it out from the freezer and you left it through for some time it turns to water? This is because that solid state changes to liquid state by melting. The ice cream begins to melt when you left it for some time. And also the cube of ice begins to melt and turns to water if you left it for some time. So solid changes to liquid state by melting. Again, the first change is by melting solid to liquid. The solid state can change to liquid state by melting. Let's see how can we change the liquid state to gaseous state. When we begin to boil the water, it turns to steam. Or when we cook the food and we take out the lid from the pot, there is a steam comes out from the pot. This is because the liquid state changes to gaseous state. Again, when we boil the water, it turns to water vapor. Or there is a steam comes out from the water. This because we changes, change the liquid state to gaseous state. This is done by evaporating process. Again, liquid state changes to gaseous state by evaporating. The water boils and changes to water vapor. This is done by evaporating process. So, liquid state changes to gaseous state by evaporating. And now let's see how can the liquid state changes to solid state. Do you know when the weather becomes too cold and you begin to tell yourself, I'm freezing? This is what happens to the liquid, like water, when you, when you put it in the freezer. It turns to ice. It begins to freeze. As shown in the figure, when you take a cube of water, sorry, when you take a, a cup of water and you put it in the freezer, it turns to ice. The water is liquid. And when the water freezes, it turns to ice, so it means it turns to solid. So, liquid state changes to solid state by freezing. Remember it by the water. When you take the water, which is liquid, and you put it in the freezer, it turns to ice, which is solid. So, liquid state changes to solid state by freezing. Let's see how can we change the gaseous state to liquid state. As shown in this figure, if you try to cook and after some time you remove the lid from the pot, you can see some water on the lid. Where is the water come from? This is because of the water vapor. When the water vapor comes out from the pot, it hits the lid. So it turns to liquid again. So gaseous state changes to liquid state. The water vapor is a gas, and when it hits the lead, it turns to liquid. So, gaseous state changes to liquid state. This is done by condensing process. The gaseous state changes to liquid state by condensing. Again, when you try to boil the water or you cook food, and the water vapor comes out from it and hits the lid of the pot, it turns to liquid again. So the water vapor, which is gas, 
turns to water which is liquid this is done by condensing process so gaseous state changes to liquid state by condensing Changing states of matter again, solid to liquid or liquid to gas or from gas to liquid or liquid to solid. Let's see how we can do that. First, solid to liquid. If we want to change the solid state to liquid state by heating, this is done by melting. As if you take the cube of ice out of the refrigerator and you leave it, sometimes it will turn to water. So we call it melting. So from solid state to liquid state by melting from liquid to gas if you put water in the boiler and you leave it to boil this is done by evaporation the water turns to steam this is by heating so we call it evaporation so from liquid to gas evaporation okay from liquid to solid if you take the cup of water and you put it in the freezer what will happen? It will freeze. So by cooling, we can change solid, sorry, liquid state to solid state by freezing. Okay. If we want to change the gas state to liquid state, as we said before, when the gas or when the steam hits the top of the pot, it changes to liquid again by cooling. So this is called condensation condensation so again from solid to liquid melting from liquid to gas evaporation from gas to liquid condensation from liquid to solid freezing and now time for questions choose the correct word number one what fills a balloon you have gas solid liquid melting and freezing what is the suitable word what can fill the balloon excellent a gas we fill the balloon with the gas so a gas fills a balloon number two what takes the shape of the bottle if you put it in the bottle it takes the shape of it gas solid liquid or melting or freezing very good a liquid like the water or the oil, they take the shape of the bottle. Number three, a chair is a... Excellent, a chair is a solid. Number four, what is the change of matter from liquid to solid? If we try to change the matter from liquid to solid, like the water, if you take the water and you put it in the freezer, it changes to ice. So, liquid state changes to solid state. This is done by? Very good, by freezing. So, freezing process is the change of matter from liquid to solid. Number five, what is the change of matter from solid to liquid? Now, take the ice from the freezer and leave it for some time. It turns to liquid again. This process is called? Very good, melting. So, melting process is the change of matter from solid state to liquid state. We have finished our session today and also we have finished our lesson which was about the states of matter. I hope all of you understand this lesson very well. Meet you in another session, inshallah. Goodbye.